What's up you guys and welcome to today's video. This is a QA. and a It's a little bit all over the place, unorganized, but um, it's been a long time since I answered a lot of your guys' questions about my life and my fitness life. I don't think I actually answered a lot of fitness questions in this Q&A, but I might have, I don't really remember, um, even though I like, just answered them. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you like these types of videos, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, so I had actually already done this Q&A and I was finished, all right? Like, I was done filming it, everything, and you guys came in hot with questions. So what had happened was I asked for questions on my Instagram and I literally waited like 15 minutes and just answered like the first, I think, 15 questions that were asked. But last night, I checked and like the questions on the juicy one, oh my God, speaking of juicy things, my nose feels like it's juicing out because I have the hoop in right now and my nose just always feels like it's running. That was a weird way to phrase that. But anyway, you guys blew me up with the most amazing questions. So I'm going back. I'm not sure if this is going to be the whole video questions. I'm just going to see where this Q&A takes me. Um, I really only have like 15 minutes to film this. I really need to get going to the gym. Otherwise, traffic is going to get really, really bad. Um, it's already five o'clock, so I really don't want to leave much later than like five o'clock for the gym. So here we go. If I'm repetitive, I'll probably just, um, uh, sorry, I'm laughing at the questions. If I'm repetitive, I'll trim that out. Um, okay. So I got a lot of like boyfriend, how are you still single? Whatever. Um, how are you still single? I think that I'm just I don't want to say like, oh, I'm really picky, but I just think that I'm selective with who I spend my time with and I'm not going to settle and I've, you know, just, but I'm like okay with that. Um, how do you balance going out and drinking heavy with your fitness slash health goals? I don't think that I drink heavy by any means. I do drink wine three to four nights a week. No, two to, two to three. Like if I'm on a date and I have two or three glasses of wine, if I go out on weekends, um, I just think that if you're drinking, you need to make sure that, like, your shit is in check, like, the rest of the week. Don't eat like an asshole that day. Um, I mean, you have to be honest with yourself. I think fitness co all comes down to, like, being honest with yourself. If you know what your intake is, if you think you need to dial it back in, then do that. If you don't, then don't. So, I feel like balance, balancing, like, going out and, um, you know living a healthy lifestyle, if I'm going out, I'm drinking maximum for maybe, if I'm having five drinks, it's because I'm out from 6 p.m. till like two in the morning, okay? Like, I, I honestly, truthfully don't remember the last time I had more than five, and I say that because it's over the span of like six, seven, eight hours, and I don't consider that excessive. For the day, yeah, like five alcoholic beverages is a lot of your calories, so either accept that, and move on maybe do like an extra five minutes of cardio a day to you know kind of help you level out i don't go overboard and try to like sweat out all the alcohol the next day because i'm usually hung over and don't want to touch a weight um, how do you feel when people are checking you out i don't like it's <clears throat> i'm gonna be truthful here okay and this is like something that is probably um not socially acceptable to have this perspective but it's I've always been someone that's like everyone else was thinking it I just said it if someone like young and attractive is like checking me out like here and there at the gym and like whatever they're trying to talk to me like and I'm into it then whatever but if it's like some 80 year old dude and he's just staring at me the entire time like it's a totally different story so most of the time I just ignore it if it's like unwanted but obviously there's times when people check you out and you're like what's up keep looking <laughs> I don't know like just deal with it what key aspects make a guy likable um I think I kind of talked about this when I talked about what my type was but I mean I'm obviously into someone that gets my sense of humor and that um, I get there, you know, I get there since of humor, obviously. Um, if I'm describing, like, somebody that I'm, okay, let me just, hypothetically speaking, a tall human, okay, 
I don't really care if they're as crazy about fitness as me because that's kind of like the thing that I'm proud of. So it's not really a big deal to me. I have my thing that I'm good at. Maybe they have their thing that they're good at and that makes us great together because we have separate interests that we can both like, you know, brag about. I think it's really important to have like your own hobbies outside of what the other person is good at because you don't want to be like competing for who's better at what. Um, I'm very much my love language giving and receiving is physical touch and I want to be able to like hold on to someone and not feel like I'm being clingy and I want to want to like be hanging on to someone and not like I know that I'm not into someone when I don't want to be all over them <laughs> like I know that I'm not into someone when I'm not like craving their physical touch you know what I mean like I don't know that's probably TMI sorry mom and dad if you watch this video but I'm just like I'm just a physical touch person I like to be held maybe that's like where the tall guy thing comes into play I don't know at what age did you lose your virginity <clears throat> I was 18 um, do guys ever try to hit on you at the gym if so how do you react um, like I said some it's like I don't think I've ever been hit on by a guy at the gym and was like happy about it truthfully I don't feel like anybody has like any like guy that I've actually been into has actually come up and talked to me. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, the like earphone out, like when you put your earphone back in, it's very like, if you don't understand that, when people are like putting their headphone back in, you need to like leave them alone. Like it's time to end the conversation. It's over. Um, just sipping on my 3D energy is my pre-workout for the gym. Sorry for the mess behind me. My life's a mess. I just got off work. I haven't been home all weekend. Excuses. I'm surprised it doesn't seem like you date often, do you? And you just don't share much of that. I don't share much of that just because, like I said, I haven't had anything that's been successful long-term in a long time. And I don't feel it's appropriate to, like, share... Oh, I've had four or five successful dates with someone. I really like them. It's not the time to put them all over my social media. Like, I'm a... T I mean, typically speaking, I'm like a... We don't talk about even whether we're in a relationship for like... Four or five, six months. Like, I don't really... I'm not... I'm not like a crazy girl in that way. I'm not like... Oh, I need to know that we're dating. Like, I'm confident in who I am. If you want to date other people, then communicate that to me and I know my worth and that's all it comes down to ideal date and just how are you so damn gorgeous well thank you I feel like I answered this already but if I didn't here we go again um, ideal date I really like doing something like I like getting drinks and having dinner and stuff I feel like ideal date would be drinks just to kind of like sit down get to know each other and then doing something like top golf or something a little more active um not just sitting down eating dinner i really like i really like in general eating at a bar or like sitting at a bar because you get to sit next to someone and talk to them and you don't necessarily have to like look at them in the face the whole time there's nothing more awkward than going on a date and having to like stay like stare at someone in the face every single second of that date it's nice to like sit next to them and maybe if you're feeling it you're like facing being able to sit next to someone and then like obviously your body language if you're into them you're gonna like turn towards them and you know want to like lean in closer and you can't really do that if you're sitting across the table it's hard to get a gauge for like for me personally it's hard to get a gauge if i'm into someone if, if we're like 10 feet away from each other you know what i mean um favorite thing to do when you don't have any when you don't have to do anything um i really like to just spend time with bruiser honestly truthfully i really like to hang out with him take him to the park um be outside uh i mean i like the gym i like going to boot camp classes now and i read like leisurely pick up a book that i've read before that i like um you know yeah, maybe go like exploring, go sit at a coffee shop that I haven't been to before. How many times per week on average do you hang out with your friends? Pretty much only on the weekends. I see Macy like once or twice during the week sometimes if we can squeeze in a workout together like during lunch or yeah, during lunch because she never comes out, out out of her house past 5 p.m. Um, so yeah, 
What was the last guy you dated? Like, this is literally like a dating q and I I should have just done a just dating q and but um, the last guy I dated, um, he was like non-emotional about things and I just I never could get a read on him and stuff. So I, it just like didn't work. You know what I mean? Like, eh, I don't know. Oh my God, another Sean Booth question. Who is your biggest crush in the fitness industry? We'll answer that one first. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> I like used to have one starting out in the fitness industry because every everyone is like up on a pedestal and I was like just starting out and I like really wanted to be in the fitness world which now I like really don't give a shit about being I don't like I don't care to be the most famous person at the expo and like have the longest line and I, I, that means literally nothing to me like I have always looked at my life long term and like going to expos and being on YouTube and Instagram is like a short-lived thing. You only are going to be appealing on those platforms for a certain number of years, you know? Like, you're going to eventually be 45 years old. I don't think anyone's going to be watching me on YouTube when I'm 45 years old. You know what I mean? Like, you have to think about your long-term life anyway. Totally off topic. But in terms of, like, my biggest crush in the fitness industry, um, I just don't have one anymore because I've seen the way a lot of people behave and like I'm just not a lot of people a lot of people are not really into themselves but a lot of people are really into themselves and I just have seen it's like it's like the curtain went up and I saw like you know what goes on behind the scenes and was like no I could go on for hours but I need to make sure I don't make this video too too long I'm so glad Bruiser decided to join me for this Q&A um what other questions can I answer I'm gonna have to do a lot of trimming in this video god literally literally hey what's your neighbor's address it's personal what that's a weird question to ask why would you ask that? That's very rude. Um, how's your love life? Are you seeing anyone new? Yeah, I mean, maybe someday I'll share that. You know, it's like I have something I have, haven't had anything super serious in a long time. And I'm like, I think when I moved to Nashville, I, I feel like I talked about this already. That I thought that I was like so ready to have a boyfriend and like really wanted to date somebody. But I just, I wasn't ready. And my situation right now, I'm like super happy with. Like, I'm super, super, super happy where I am right now. So, I'm, like, fearful that he'll watch this and, like, get freaked out or something. And, like, so I'm trying to be careful with my words. Um, but, anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy where I am. That's all you guys need to know. I mean, I'm sure someday, maybe soon, maybe not. You'll know details. Like, anybody, but... It, Keep in mind that anybody you've seen me tag on my story, not my boyfriend, okay? Like, I don't, can you, can you sit down, sir? Can you do something? Like, I, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like, I don't just, no. Can you stop? Okay, I'm gonna go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that Bruiser can be fed, right? Because that's what subscriptions do. They feed puppies. Okay, love you, bye! <laughs>